Okay, I'm at Mr. Uh, Carpenter's house here in Weston. Um, this is uh, Grant Putnam, Putnam Landscaping. Um, so as far as spring cleanup, fall cleanup, uh, we're going to want to clean up all the leaves all the way to the stone wall. All right, and then all those leaves can get blown through the fence here on the downhill side on the hill. So everything from this area will be blown to the adjacent fence. All right. Um, in the future, you could always replace the patio around the pool if you wanted to. You could even do pavers outside of brick, so brick is somewhat brittle. You'll see it all starts, starts cracking and whatnot. You can do pavers that kind of look like brick if you want that look. And uh, this way they'll never crack. They'll be more durable and they won't shift. So that's just something to think about. Um, okay, so let's keep on walking in this area. You don't really, as far as mulching in this area, you do, I would say you're going to want to mulch these beds specifically through here on both sides of this wall. I don't, and then perhaps maybe just that one bed right there is roughly 20 by 20 feet. Anywhere there's packet sander, obviously you wouldn't mulch. And then you've got another little bed over here, call it uh, 20 feet by 2 feet of mulch. So that pretty much comprises the mulch in this area. Okay. Then you've got some mulch in the existing beds where there's no pack of Sandra. So, you know, along the street, around the, along the fence in here. Um, same thing, all the leaves in this area would just be blown over uh, through this hill, through the fence. very very mossy in here like so we talked about doing some tree work I'll put you in touch with a tree guy that we usually recommend has all the right equipment to get way up in the trees or climb the trees and do the necessary pruning um, the lawn area here in the front is not really a great area to uh, blow the leaves so this area you might we might just vacuum them up with our vacuum truck okay from the very front of the house After the spring flush of growth, you're going to need to trim some of these plants back. So you get some hollies, rhododendrons, boxwoods. Boxwoods need uh, the systemic and the sprays to prevent the insect issues. Uh, you're probably going to want to tie these with string before next winter because what happens is you get that heavy snow and it kind of breaks them apart. So perhaps why there's some damage on these boxwoods here is because of that. That and the fact that there's not a ton of sunlight in that area so they're just a little bit thinned out due to that okay but these have been treated in the past that's why i don't have insect issues because basically if they're not treated you will have an insect issue okay so you get some more mulch in this area there's a lot of leaves in the pack of sander bed so you have to use backpack blowers to clean those out all right the initial cleanup is going to be more than a typical spring cleanup that's because the previous owner didn't do a great job doing the fall cleanup because these really should have been cleaned out last fall. So just realize that this initial cleanup for your property is going to be substantially more than it would be in a typical spring. Okay. And you can see there's no lawn in here. You can try to seed this, rough up the soil and seed it. Um, and it will actually grow in the spring and it's going to fade out during the summer and then you seed it again in the fall. So you will have a period during the summer where due to the lack of sunlight, the, the grass will continue to thin out and then uh, you'll see it again in the fall. Um, but you really can't avoid that with these huge tree canopies and lack of sunlight. When you put the mulch in, you're obviously going to cover the exposed uh, irrigation drip lines.
Like I said, you have about 10 zones, irrigation zones on the property, so we'll give you the service maintenance for that as well. So the same idea, there's a bunch of leaves underneath these trees. These have to be cleaned out this excuse me, this spring. And it looks like the maintenance. I'm just looking out here, checking in front of this wall. See if anything really needs to be done out here. It's super shady because of the uh, these are spruce trees overhanging this area. As far as maintenance, I would not include cleaning up any of the, the pine needles, the hemlock needles or the spruce needles falling from the trees. It doesn't make sense to do that. It takes way too much time and is not needed. You just end up covering it with mulch. Out here, I think I just leave it how it is. Maybe just spray weed killer to take down the weeds during the summer. But uh, you're not going to be able to get the grass to grow out through here. What you could do is you could, in the future, add perennials, some colorful perennials in front of this wall that are shade loving. All right, that'd probably be a good idea. Um, and then from a maintenance perspective, perhaps just just have to blow the leaves out of here and clean up the sticks, but not clean up the needles. Okay. Um, you do have a lot of hemlock trees, and those all have to be treated for hemlock woolly adulgid and hemlock scale. And these look like they've been treated in the past. Because if they didn't, you'd had you definitely have insect issues. It's probably the most susceptible tree to insect issues for an evergreen is hemlock trees. Oh, let me maybe make a second video for you.